Welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's math channel, and this is um, a video in which I'm going to start going through this question paper for the statistics S1 at Excel International A level January 2020 paper. Okay, um, and I'm going to start off with question number one. Question number one is about discrete random variable. Um, the discrete random variable x has a following probability distribution. So this is the probability distribution for the random variable x. So the possible values of the random variable x are minus 2, minus 1, 1, 3, and 4. And the probability of minus 2 occurring is 0 0.15. The probability of 4 occurring is 0 0.15 as well. The probabilities of minus 1, 1, and 3 occurring are unknown, a, b, and c. Okay, so we're told that the mean value of all of this is 1 and that the cumulative frequency up to 1 is equal to 0 0.63 and using that information we need to find the values of a b and c okay so if we start off with the mean value x equals 1 now the mean value x equals 1 is notation is like this ex is the mean or expected value is equal to 1 and the expected value is found by multiplying the probability uh, the random variable by its probability and then finding the sum of all of those so the expected value is like minus 2 multiplied by 0 0.15 plus minus 1 times a plus 1 times b plus 3 times c plus 4 times 0 0.15 okay so this will give us this is going to equal 1 so you have minus 2 times 0 0.15 which is minus 0 0.3 you got minus a plus b plus 3c plus 4 times 0 0.15 is 0 0.6 and that all equals 1 okay so if we tidy this, this up a little bit you have minus a plus b plus 3c plus 0 0.3 equals 1 so you can say minus a plus b plus 3c equals 0 0.7 okay so we have formed like an equation from this fact we also know that the the f1 equals 0 0.3 0 0.63 so f1 what it means is the probability of everything of x being less than or equal to 1 okay which here is a probability of minus 2 plus the probability of uh, minus 1 and plus the probability of 1. So it's the sum of these three probabilities. So probability of minus 2, the probability of minus 1, plus the probability of 1. So that's equal to, we got uh, 0 0.15 plus A plus B. <clears throat> so you have 0 0.15 plus A plus B. And we know that they told us F1 equals 0 0.63. So I can say that um, these added together is going to give me 0 0.63 so I can say therefore that um, 0 0.15 plus A plus B gives you 0 0.63 so you can say A plus B is equal to 0 0.63 minus 0 0.15 0 0.63 minus 0 0.15 so when you subtract them 0 0.63 minus 0 0.15 you're going to get 8 and 448, 0 0.48, 0.48, that's what A plus B is, okay? So that's like another equation we've got now. So we've got an equation like this, an equation like this, but we have three unknowns. So we have to find what C is. Now, we can find C actually because I know that um, the probability of 3 plus the probability of 4 okay must be 1 minus okay f1 because I know they all add up to 1 so these two together okay make up the rest of the one so I can see that c plus 0 0.15 is equal to okay or you can say c plus 0 0.15 plus 0 0.63 is equal to 1 okay because um, I know up to here is 0 0.63 and these two together okay plus all of that equals 1 alright so I can find what C is C is equal to 1 minus 
Uh, now the sum of this is uh, zero point. That's going to be seven. Um, zero point six three plus zero point one five. That's going to be zero point seven eight. So C is going to be zero point two two. Okay, so we can work out what C is from that. So we've got C is 0 0.22. So what did I do there? Well, I've just shown the steps there anyway, so it's no problem. So I c basically all of this adds up to 1. B from here to there is 0 0.63. Okay, this is what that means. So what's left over is 0 0.27 basically. Okay, so um, what, what I can say is 1 minus... Um, and what's left over is 0 0.27. So C plus 1, 1 point, 0 0.15 is 0 0.27. So I just did it a different way here. Equals 0 0.27. Um, so C is equal to 0 0.27 minus 0 0.15. Sorry, 0 0.37. So it's 0 0.37 minus 0 0.15, sorry. So C is equal to 0 0.22, just a different way of doing it, that's all. Okay, so yeah, that's 0 0.37, isn't it? Because 1 minus 0 0.63 is 0 0.37. 0 0.37 minus 0 0.15 gives you 0 0.22. So yeah, C is 0 0.22, so we found the value of C. <clears throat> so we know that this C here, where's it gone? Up here, this C is 0 0.22. So we can see that C is 0 0.22. So if I put that into the first equation I found here, I have minus a plus b plus 3 times 0 0.22 is equal to 0 0.7. So I have minus a plus b plus 0 0.66 equals 0 0.7. So minus a plus b equals 0 0.7, take away 0 0.66, which is 0 0.04. So now I have these two equations I can use. I have a plus b equals 0 0.48. And I have minus a plus b equals 0 0.04. Okay, and if I take these two equations and I add them together, I will eliminate the a's. I'll get 2b equals 0 0.52. Therefore, b is equal to 0 0.52 divided by 2, which is 0 0.26. And then I can find what a is. I know that a plus b equals 0 0.48. So A is equal to 0 0.48 minus 0 0.26. So A is also 0 0.22. So we have A is 0 0.22, B is 0 0.26, and C is 0 0.22. So it's kind of symmetrical here. If you think about it, that's going to be symmetrical. 0 0.22, 0 0.22, 0 0.26, 0 0.15, 0 0.15. It's like a symmetrical distribution. All right, so there we have the answer to question number one. Okay, I hope that was clear. Just using some of the facts that we know about expected values and about what this means, a cumulative distribution, and some of the properties of the probability distribution for a discrete random variable. Now, um, other questions from this paper when I answer them are going to be on this playlist that should appear in this area over here. Other questions about discrete random variables from S1, you'll find the questions collected together in this playlist. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. At the top of the paper, I'll take you to another S1 past paper that I've answered. Um, thank you for watching and see you soon.